Hey guys, it's Mark. Welcome to Speed Tutor. And today I'm going to show you a Unity 6 blur shader, which is completely free because I like to keep everybody up to date on things that I find which are really useful for the most recent versions. So this one is called Unified Blur and it allows you to do a simple UI blur, which you can blur behind UI elements, or you can use that behind other world objects to make them look like they appear in front, whether you do an exam system or something completely different. And if you like this video, throw a like and make sure you subscribe because it helps me out massively. You can navigate to this GitHub page, which is the Unified Universal Blur. And you can see some details about installation and setup below if you're confused. But if you go to the top right corner and go to code, I like to copy the GitHub URL. Then if we're in our Unity 6 scene, we can go to the package manager in Unity 6, go window package manager. And if you click on the drop down in the top left, which is a little plus, you can add from Git URL. We'll paste this in here and just click install. Then once this is installed, you'll see it in your packages down here and it'll be called the unified blur and you'll find any readmes and things. And we need this material this universal blur UI. I've got a canvas in my scene here and all it has is a canvas which I can enable and disable which is just a few image components. Now on my canvas I want to blur the background of this so we can right click the canvas go UI and choose image. I'll call this my UI blur image. I will go to the transform click on the top left hold alt and expand click to do this transform to make it as big as possible of our current screen. And you can see we've got the material slot that we needed to add. So if we go to packages and go to the universal blur UI, we can add that in here. And you can see that we need to make sure that our UI image is above or behind what we currently have because we want to only blur the background. Now this doesn't seem to render quite well enough or render how we wanted this to be because we need to edit the renderer to enable the render feature in the URP version that we have. So whichever render pipeline asset you're using you to find this, you can go to edit project settings. Then if you go to graphics, you can click on the default renderer that you're using, which in my case is this PC asset. And then if you click on the renderer list at the top, you can see the renderer here. Now at the bottom, we can see we can add a renderer feature. And when we click add a rendering feature, you can choose the universal blur feature. So we can add that. You can see the drop down here and you could already see that the background looked slightly blurred compared to what before. So if I just make this bigger and enable and disable it, you can see what it does. We can move the iteration amount to increase the level of blurriness that we see there. The intensity doesn't seem to do anything. And the downsampling just changes the overall look of how big the pixels are between it. And you can adjust if you want the scale to be with screen height, the resolution, and it's only currently got the blur type, which is fast, and it renders after other post-processing effects as well. So you can see when I'm in my scene, I've just got a quick bunch of shortcuts so I can enable and disable my first UI. I can enable or disable the blur that we have, and I can apply them both. So you can see how it affects our scene nice and easily. So we can make sure that this is always the most prominent screen that we see. Now, one thing you can do if let's say we take my king object here and I want to render this so it always renders above objects and we have the blur in the background if you want to him be an examinable object or something like that within your game. Now we can select our canvas and instead of the render mode being on screen space overlay, set it to screen space camera. Then you can make sure your render camera is main camera and then you can actually make sure your plane distance is about 0.5. Then you can see in my main camera preview, you can see that it's white over the top and it's not really working properly. Now, if we go back to the PC renderer that I was using and we look for the universal render blur feature again, we can make sure that it renders slightly earlier. So before rendering transparency, we can make sure we do that and you can see it both in our game view and in the main camera view. Now, the problem is we want the object to be above this. Now I'm going to just duplicate my main camera rename my main camera to overlay and from there I'm going to set its render type to overlay. Main camera will be set as base and on the stack I want to make sure that I add add a plus and choose my overlay camera. Now you can see everything's back to normal. I want to make sure that my main camera will only render a specific layer. So I've created a layer called render and you can add a new layer if you need to add one. On my main camera I want to make sure that on the culling mask that it renders everything but the render. So I've unticked that. On the overlay camera, I go to the culling mask, 
and it's currently everything. I'm just going to hit nothing because I don't want it to render anything other than the render layer. You can see it visible there. I'm just going to turn off so it doesn't show post-processing in that additional camera. You also need to make sure that for the, any object that you want to render on top, you need to make sure that that's set on the layer specified. And in my case, I set my king model to the render layer. Now you can see that the king object has rendered above the blur that we had before. So this is an example of how you can get something to render above others using a few layers and getting this blur to work. So if you find this useful, throw a like on this video and make sure you're subscribed because it helps me out massively. And do sure to check out my Patreon too to get over 225 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Put the links down in the description to Unity sales and every single deal you can find in Unity. Big thank you to Pete Steiner, Very Shuther, David and Jennifer for their amazing support. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.